Look, our long bias funds are still long biased. Uh, we think the market's trending higher. We're excited about the technology sector. We're excited about the mining sector. And as I said, with interest rates as low as they are and, and no sign of interest rates going up in the short term, I think, I think you've got to stay with the momentum and stay long. Yeah, I, I think it's, not to, it's important not to get too focused on one single metric because, you know, some stocks, you know, we, we like. We think they're amazingly cheap on traditional earnings metrics. Say Stanmore Coal is one stock that on our numbers is trading on 1.5 times EBITDA, three times PE, and is just very, very cheap on traditional metrics. On the other hand, another stock we like is Xero, which is the accounting software company. And that's just come through a period of startup losses and will enter profits over the next few years. And so the profit growth over the next few years is quite spectacular. And so trying to value that on a traditional earnings multiple is hard. But I think one thing I look for in growth companies is how many years forward do I have to look before it comes back to like an earnings, a market earnings multiple. And I think with zero, it's certainly a lot less than some of the other highly priced technology companies in the market at the moment. In my mind, high multiples need to be justified by high growth. And the best way to work out whether you can justify the multiple is just to look forward a few years. And if, if it's not back to an earnings multiple in say four or five years, you're probably paying too much.